propaganda hate for it because I think Diamond is literally raises the character two tiers. Starting off here on Battlefield though, this is a tremendous stage for, for Alex because of the fact that minecarts are almost uncheckable when you cruise around the side platforms. I'm very interested to see how Frog deals with it. I like that Jake is responding right now to Frog's initial aggression with more aggression. Frog taking yep. a little bit of a different tact with three block uh, setup. That's one of the things you have to like really key into when taking when facing you know Steve Enderman or Alex is how do I address just the the, the spacing tactics, the stalling tactics to get a little more space. And one way to do that is actually just attack the bottom brick and then try to dash yeah. under. But one frog. of the things that like one of the things that the Minecraft crew does so well is they're they're pretty much a counter aggressive character. They 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 are really good at stopping people who like to swing too much because you play right into their whole course. But oh. you know what? You got hands like those. Ain't nobody gonna hold them. World champion in boxing right there. That forward smash is gonna delete that. Holy cow! Frog was in Jade's head. <laughs> Straight up, oh my god. <laughs> all right, now, all right, this is looking kind of nice for Frog because Frog now with the lead is just staying up close and personal. Don't try to challenge that. Too many people try to challenge grounded up B. It has little to no end lag. It makes no sense, <laughs> but people fall for that punish all the time. Maybe Jacob needs a couple of moments here to warm up here in Grand Finals. My dude has not played a set in bracket for well over an hour. Big up smash though to attach Frog. Bad landing or even up stop wise. Con yep, congratulations. Your character now just went up two tiers. Look at that. Two hits, 34%. And this is where Frog has to play a bit more comfortable because Alex will hard punish if you, uh, like if you just move in too much. I do really like Frog's approach though. He's been playing on like a, a nice angled approach. He's not being too obvious, but just bursty enough to capitalize on Jake because anytime he actually gets in, he gets a lot of damage. Oh, nice catch him deep, but not far enough into the side blast zone to make it. It's particularly fatal for Jake. Oh, big witch time! Big up smash! Fraud! Oh, with the, the recognition there to nail that confirm. Yeah, that was some smart play. Now, if you're frog, be careful because diamonds forward smash can even it back up pretty quick. So you play around that as much as possible. That's not going to do it yet, but that's going to get him that much closer to the KO percents. There's the forward smash. We're back to an even game. I think one of the things when you fight this character is that every time you think you have a big lead, it disappears and you don't know why. Because we, if you look at this yeah. matchup as a whole, right? You're like, okay, I feel like Frog's just been winning outright. But then at some point, Jake got it close enough to just take the lead. And then when you're down here and last stock, Jake has significantly better KO pressure. But if you keep running straight at Frog like that, you're gonna have a bad time. I do feel like Frog's been dealing with this matchup for a while, especially with just how, like, really confident he is in a lot of these call-outs. Yeah, I, do, I really do like the way Frog is approaching the match. Oh. There you go. Finds the opening with the back air. Uh, yeah, you're, you're right. Like, he's he's playing more of a, not so much a wait and see, or but kind of like, I'm going to attack where I... Stick like, and I, move. Stick yeah, move. like, I'm... Exactly, yeah, yeah. Like, just kind of like... Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee almost. Yeah. That's the best way I can think of it. Just quick, get in, get out. Find your damage and get out. Because something that Bayo's going to do better is if you just get that quick hit, you're going to capitalize big. You get big damage. But if you stay near Alex too long, you take all those up tilts and you take way too much damage. So it, it was a really good bob and weave way that Frog was approaching it. Able to take it when that was getting tremendously close. I don't think right he was using for, uh, blocks for defense because it worked like once at the very beginning and then Frog just started blowing it up afterwards. Like, I don't yeah. care about these. Yeah, basically because Frog took the lead, Jake had to uh, commit and pursue and play more aggressively. Yeah, like you see, like, just right there, right? That was a perfect example. Every time that he put a block up, he used more resources than the position he was allowed to actually obtain. Yeah. Because you want that so you can mine. Except Bayo was right next to you again. But much like Bayo of old, <laughs> being able to carry up top and get those big damage combos is incredible. Especially when, you know, the pickaxe has one hell of a swing. 
Oh, look at that set up there. Big a lot of damage. Oh, man. Ooh, Talk frog. about a response. The yeah, Frog from dropped. Vegas bet it all on that ABK, and that uh, ended up playing to the house. That is not what you want to happen for sure. That I hate that. That that, that dinner is so strong, but it's such a good shit. Like, it's I just such this. a good get off of me move. Uh, but I still love the tenacity from Frog. I mean, Jake finally got Diamond Mine, but not after, you know, Frog continued to put Jake into... Big high damage percentage. Big up tilt back air confirmed the Bayo special in ultimate. Yeah, exactly. I, it's it's actually so wild as well with this way this character operates. Oh my god, the big damage. Uh, at, at the end of every stock, if you have diamond on deck, they're forever and you get to keep them going. And you know, it's just they, they shine. They shine and remind you that while you're shining invincibility, you get to get it back for free. You get free diamond gear when you come back oh, from a no. stock. Oh no. <laughs> And their fraud just demonstrating one of the things you have to be really careful about it with minecart is not only do you have to be really uh, mindful of when you actually mash out of the cart with your top of command grab, but you have to make sure you direction you know direct yourself away from being punished by the big up smash scoop. Yeah, you also have to be significantly oh. be careful. And, uh, yeah, I didn't even get to say it. Because with Bayo, you have to look hard for your KO options, right? You got to set them up, so maybe up tilt back air. But what does Steve got to do? Spot dodge, F smash. Like, it's just, it, it is very scary at high KO percentages, boxing with them. Speaking of F smash attempts, oh, looks for the roll in after that. Doesn't get it, but Diamond is broken now. Watch that TNT setup. It's super scary. Oh, my God, that damage. So smart, buddy, Jake. Just set up after set up right now. Big back air from Frog. Trying to put Jake on his last stock here and make this still doable situation. Yeah, also, he doesn't have any gear on him right now. He's actually been, he's playing with nothing because of the fact that that got broken before and he never got to set it back up. So he's okay. actually, yeah, he, he's kind of actually playing with this mindset of, look, I know that you're going to chase me because you think I'm going to set up. I don't need to chase you anymore, though, because you decided to jump at me while I have invincibility. That downer uh, is going to take it out. Right. There's Frog's uh, particular brand of aggression kind of... <laughs> kind of working against them. <laughs> yeah, sometimes holding forward isn't the right choice. You, <laughs> you just got you just got to take your hand off the stick. I swear for a God, second. though, I I die all the time from thinking, okay, I have to show pressure, even when they're still got iframes from the angel platform. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No. Like no. <laughs> yeah, let, let me let me run straight up at somebody who will not die to a single thing I do. But it just happens sometimes, right? Like Fro Frog has done a solid job of keeping Jake in an uncomfortable spot. But here's the thing that I'm studying to notice out of Jake. When you start to get your mix-ups opened up and you don't adjust them fast enough on a character that's really strong on defense like uh, like Alex here, it's a bad time. Your mix-ups no longer become a mix-up. They become obvious. And I think Frog, as the set progresses, needs to take at least one game where he kind of just plays a bit slower. Just like single hop, sh like short hop aerials, get small damage, and try and play a more bait and punish game because the super aggro play is eventually going to cost them. But the, thing, the trade off is that it allows Jake to get more resources and be able to deploy stuff like right now Metal Axe. Oh my god, oh. that beats. He is, he is just challenging ABK every single time with that. He's going to follow you off stage. Nope, because it's Bale. Oh, again. That's an air dodge, oh. though. That was an assi that, oh, that's an assisted SD no. right there. You forced the air dodge. Bad clank for Bale. Oh, look at that. Just up tilt pressure. I love to see it. Come on, Frog. Firing it right back at Jake. Big combo. Look at that. Jake just basically taking a moment to set oh a block God. off stage and reset and put 53 on Frog in the interaction. Well, oh, oh my. Dude. Oh, you know what? Actually, all right. So that's going to be the oh. one time. I'm, uh, that's the one time I'm okay with something that's uh, that Alex just did do. That down there actually beats Bats with it. I've been complaining about that all night. That's a dead character. Though. Frog finally able to throw him back, but two to one deficit and the Diamond Axe is out. I'm gonna tell you right now, if you, bro, if you told me back at Smash 4 that the answer one day would be that Bayo would be the weaker character and we'd be looking at one of the Minecraft characters being better, I would have told you you were absolutely insane. I never thought Minecraft crew was yeah. gonna get into this game and they, <laughs> they are good. This character is an issue. I, I, it ain't just online. Wait till offline shows up. This character's gonna be a problem. I gotta say, the thing that's really striking me so far about the this the set is jake is oh he's so confident with the diamond weaponry frog still holding up tight here as well as the anvil he's just yep yeah. <laughs> right on cue man right on cue it's looking like looney tunes out here the, the anvils have been straight up the answer to everything i didn't even have was... to finish that like, that was <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, his, his like it's not even in like really like obvious setups. Like, of course, like with with Edge guarding and a character like Bale that needs to recover high, Anvil makes a lot of sense as does TMT and Minecart just catch the sky and go for the ledge portion. But a lot of it's just in between uh, Battlefield's plats. He's been able to drop Anvil and much success. Let's see here. This is Frog's tournament set, game four. I mean, like I said, it's the very beginning. I think that Battlefield is an incredible stage for for Steve in general. Just it, it's it's a way you can camp on their platforms. You can put a wall up to easily set up. But the biggest thing is the way that you can navigate around people's pressure, not only with that down air, but with the minecart right there. Look how hard it is for Bayo to challenge you. Because what's your one thing you're pretty much going to do there? You have to jump at him, right? Yeah. But you don't have the room to go away. You have to pretty much stare it down. Like, I, I think in this matchup, it'd be a bit more comfortable to have something with a wider space. But at this point, it's just looking like Jake has figured it out, and we're probably going to see a three-to-one victory. I will see, though. I, I wouldn't count count out Fraud just yet. Fraud had, so, had played so tenaciously so far uh, in bracket. Managed to outlast Sharp and outlast Leap It Man. Right now, trying to survive this minecart, 137. Gets back from ledge. Oh, almost floats right back into the long-lasting hitbox of the up smash. Instead, eats the big back air from Jake. Man, Jake is looking like Mario Kart with a star attached to him right now. The mine cart is just putting in all the work. It's never getting hit. And then after that, he's got an item to deal with him anyway. It's like, and he's, and he's not even behind. He has the lead. He's getting star without the lead. There you go. Finally checking that, just challenging it with the back air. But the crazy thing is you still take some damage. So, like, at higher percents, you can't do that hey, every time. It's still a worthwhile trade if you're fraud because it keeps the game still within reach. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. See, why you frog. why you gotta do it? Why you gotta do it to him like that? Why you gotta say it was still within reach? You knew you knew you were gonna cause Frog to die <laughs> right after that. <laughs> I couldn't imagine that the heel slide wouldn't catch the neutral get up in perfect frame. <laughs> Jake is just playing this matchup tremendously. Like this is exactly yeah. how you need to play it. And if like if you decide to run straight at Bayo, you're asking for trouble. So what do you do? You play as a character that's really good at counter at counteracting people who are hyper aggressive. You play passive, let them run to you, and you keep blowing them up for it. And this is looking gr grimmer really? and grimmer by the second for uh, for Frog. Speaking oh, of which, no. that is the end of this, <laughs> the end of our night. Jake is gonna take it with the explosive exit, uh, look, explosive looking finish. like Michael Bay film. <laughs> 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 oh my god, that matchup looks hard. Like 